Welcome back, everybody. I have a bizarre one for you today, again from The Spew, with Joy Behar and actor Billy Porter making the insane conspiratorial claims that Ron DeSantis is, quote, carrying out a civil war of the mind. How is he doing this, you ask? Well, by banning drag shows for kids. But as usual, neither of these clowns are honest about that and wrongly portrayed DeSantis's ban as a ban on drag shows, when in reality, it's a ban on drag shows that are specifically for kids. When you were here in July of 2022, yes. we talked about how Florida Governor uh, DeSantis uh, had just filed a complaint against a bar called the R House yeah. that holds drag shows. Okay? Yeah. Uh Right, drag shows specifically for kids. Why do these people and adult men want to do drag shows for kids? Drag shows are inherently sexual, and we've seen hundreds and hundreds of videos of them involving stripping in front of kids. The actual drag shows that are currently being sued were specifically marketed for kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight months later, things have only escalated. As we talk about it, you know, it's constant um, aggravation with this. What do you make of the fact that we're still talking about about this and that um, it's happening in other states too, not just Florida. Right? Yeah, it's there's this war yeah. against trans people, which and is And LGBTQ plus yeah, people yeah, and yeah. people who are othered. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. What this doesn't target LGBT people, it doesn't target trans people, it targets drag shows that are for kids. You what know, is it? We've Why all, are they doing it? I, this, for power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is about power, and you could always trace it back to the money. You say that all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, everything is about power, which is why you want the power over other people's kids. Follow the money, follow the power, power at any cost. It's very hypocritical. You know, the, the, <coughs> the leading cause of death in children are guns. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're guns. Yeah. I know it's the morning and I'm not supposed to be screaming, but they're guns. Wait a minute, now we're talking about guns? Okay, first, it started out about drag shows and they were lying from it from the beginning, not saying that it was about drag shows for kids, which is what it's always been about. So they're not telling you that. And then he tried to drag LGBT people, trans people, everybody into this that's being targeted, even though that's not true at all. And now, for some reason, they're talking about guns. Not you know, drag queens. Not drag queens. No. Leave us alone. <laughs> yes. You know, and it's just, it's a distraction. Leave it's a the distraction kids alone. On purpose. We don't know what to pay. We don't know what to pay attention to. You know, our justice system is convoluted. It's hard to understand on purpose. Let's be clear about that. Let's be clear. The justice system is messed up when it allows kids to be essentially groomed by these adults who want to get the kids away from the parents and they want to strip for them. I mean, that. why are these people so desperate to have that happen? What logical thought process led these people to pair up drag queens, which are adult men who dress up in over-sexualized kind of nightmarish versions of women, and then put them with kids to read books? And it's, it started out with the books, and now it's just full-on drag shows. And again, I just want to keep emphasizing that The View, none of these people are being honest about that. That's all that's being targeted here are drag shows for kids. But all they keep saying is that drag shows are being and drag queens are being targeted lgbt and trans people are being targeted no none of those things are being targeted they are just lying the bus is subpoenaed we and if we don't go we end up in jail you right get a little perp walk. <laughs> yeah. what are this is the most insane thing i've ever what seen what are we doing and everybody's so scared because oh if we do that then we might have a civil war we're already in a civil war y'all it's a civil war of the mind <laughs> We're already in it. Yeah, we're already in civil war. And you remember, it was just a few days ago, actually last week, that Jane Fonda was on their show and called for the murder of pro-life politicians, which they dismissed as just a just a joke. And then, you know, for days after that, all they did was complain about Mike Pence's joke about Pete Buttigieg, which they basically called homophobic, even though the joke didn't reference gayness at all. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks a lot. Been a really busy week for me, as you know, just had our fourth child. So it's been really hard to really get into a deep dive sort of video but look for those. I'm going to do them any chance I get. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, share, subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment, and I'll see you all in the next one.